Hey guys, Mr. B here, and uh, bringing you another little video uh, this afternoon. And I mentioned this in class that I was going to post this uh, maximum video for you guys. So uh, I will go through uh, one of the problems, and I'm going to give you guys one similar to it, um, in which you guys have to solve. Okay. All right, so let's have a look at this guy. So it says a total of 96 meters of fencing is used to divide a rectangular region shown. Algebraically determine the maximum area that could be enclosed. So, um, as we saw a few of these examples in class, guys, we saw that this dotted line here, well, that's a wall, okay? And this is our uh, region here. So, we're actually dividing it into two regions, okay? Um, so, what you got to recognize this 96 meters of fencing here, this that takes up all this around the outside, but it also takes into account, <clears throat> excuse me, this thing in the middle here, okay, the divider in the middle. So make sure that you take that to account. Uh, when we're doing these problems, generally what we do is we start with two formulas. When we're dealing with the area, we always have to start with, with our area formula. So area is equal to length times width. All right? And of course, this is our rectangle here. So along the outside, we have whole way of distance here, L. And my width here. Well, what you should notice is that this here is also a W, and this here is also a W. Okay, so um, my perimeter, called P, <coughs> is going to be equal to, well, 3W plus L. And as I talked about in class, guys, this is a unit on quadratics, so what you need to recognize is that chances are we are going to end up with a quadratic. Okay, and generally, our quadratic is in terms of W, okay? Um, all right, so uh, easiest thing we can do here. Well, actually, I didn't quite finish that guy. Um, what's this equal to? Well, this is equal to uh, my perimeter is 96, all right? That actually makes it a little bit easier of a problem. <laughs> all righty, so um, what I'm going to do is take actually take just this guy here, get it with the P part, and I'm going to solve it for L. So then what I can do is sub it back into here. So I'm going to solve this guy for L, so it becomes L is equal to 96 minus 3W. So we'll take that guy, go directly in here for L. So then I'll have a problem in terms of the area, or a, a quadratic in terms of the area. So area is equal to 96 minus 3W and times W. Okay, and now I'll distribute through. Distribute through my w, so negative 3w times w, well that's negative 3w squared, um, and plus 96w. Alrighty, so um, this is my quadratic, so that's really your first obstacle that we've, or your second obstacle, that's your first obstacle will be getting these two formulas and labeling the diagram, your first, second obstacle will be getting this guy. Alright, so then we go back to the problem and just see what it asks us. Well, it says, determine the maximum area. Okay, so when you think about maximum area, when you're thinking about a quadratic, maximum or mean really for a quadratic is equal to the vertex. All right, and we're thinking about vertex of a quadratic, we're thinking axis of symmetry. So x is equal to negative b over 2a, or negative b over 2a. Now the x is totally arbitrary, that's just the general, most often the quadratics in terms of x. Now this guy is in terms of w. So it's actually going to be for us, w is equal to negative ba, right? Because that's our variable that we're talking about. So this is my a here. That's my a. And that's my b. And if there was a plus something, that would be my c. But we don't have to be concerned about it for this, okay? So um, I'm going to have w is equal to negative 96 divided by 2 times negative 3. All right, so if we break out our calculators, we go to negative 96 divided by negative 6. It's going to give us 16, so that's actually a pretty good number. So that's 16 meters. So the W of this guy up here is 16, so 16 all the way across. So from that, we can find out what our L is. So we'll go L is equal to 96 minus times 16. All right, so we go times 16 is 48. 96 
Alright, so my length up here is 48. So now my max area is going to be uh, just 16 times 48. And that gives me uh, 768 meters squared. Okay, so I got the dimensions and I got the max area. Now, if you were just looking for the max area and we didn't need the dimensions, we could have took this width and stuck it back in here, and that would give us a max area of 768 meters squared. Okay, um, so that's really it, guys. So these problems are all very similar. Um, they're all very similar, and uh, you just sort of have to take the same approach with them, which is get your two equations. And then slowly work towards your quadratic, and then use your axis of symmetry to find either the max or the min. Now, I have a question here for you guys. Um, so, a rectangular region placed against the wall of a house is divided up into three regions using a total area of 120 meters. So, that's sort of the same number as our as our 96 there. So, you got a bunch of stuff going on here. Maybe you want to label this diagram here. Maybe draw it on your page. So, I want you guys to try this try this problem and see how you do with it. Um, I did mention that I was going to put a code word in this um, for you guys. So I'm going to say the code word is, just so you guys uh, all know whether or not you guys will actually watch this, is uh, Mr. Dress Up. That's the code word. One of my all-time favorite uh, shows, Mr. Dress Up. Um, so I'll see if you guys have watched the video. I'm going to post a couple other videos tonight, guys, on uh, uh, some of the stuff that we've done so far. I hope you check them out. All right, guys. Have a great afternoon. See ya.